So, I have finally got more towards the foreground, and I've started to put those shapes in. You can see them, they're loosely put down. And as a, you've probably been noticing, I've been saying a lot of no's. No's to cartoonish style renderings of natural forms. So, that is going to apply, again, for the dreaded Bart Simpson hair or eyelash looking grass. For grass, if you look at a real picture of it, um, it's just textures, it's shapes, colors, and forms next to one another to make more of a natural looking grass. So nowhere do you see the Bart Simpson hair. So when you're putting down grass, try to avoid that and try instead to look for more of the color and form. So I've gotten to a point within my picture that I have all the basic elements in there. And what I want to do to jazz my picture up, to make it look a little bit better, is now that I have all the, the backgrounds done, I want to go in and I can see that there's a tree and it's kind of just a little dot, I don't know if you could see it, but there's a little guy out there on the green. So I'm going to add my little golfer and I'm going to add my little tree last. So adding details last will make your life a lot easier. Um, you'll be able to see... Um, how they look overall and you won't have to work around them so much which like the way that we're painting um, is just nice and pressure free way to do this so um, I'm going to add my guys in and then finally the last thing I'm going to do after that is I'm going to look at my picture I'm going to look at the darks and the lights um, you can notice right around this area that it's super dark and right over here it's super dark and then also here, it's really nice and light. Um, going back and then looking at my picture, um, I could probably go and add the darkness here and over here, and then probably go back and revisit some of the clouds. One thing you'll notice while you're painting with acrylic paints is that when you first put them down, they're very brilliant and they have a lot of oomph to them. However, once they dry, they kind of fall flat. So this is an area where you're going to go back to your paints, you're going to go back to your palette, and you are going to revisit those areas to give them a little bit more oomph, as I was saying. So continue on with your painting, look to see what's there, and you're getting close to the end.